Merry Christmas! Again! <laughs> right, I need to say this before this guy starts talking and, you know, we're having... Oh, she's cleaning up. Good for her. Um... Oh? Full space. This is where else she's been getting around. Um... Yeah. I need to say this because I didn't want to ruin the last... Development. Whoever made this game, your fan service to The Shining is phenomenal and I appreciate it so much. As a massive fan myself, like the local cinema next to me, or near to me rather, has a similar like floor and everything to the shining there's like a whole shining section <laughs> and so i'm a total geek about that film so i really appreciate the fact that you called the characters stan danny and wendy brilliant right christmas tree merry christmas irving no, no angel or star yeah, i am you still there where else should i be but i haven't seen these in ages no one uses them anymore, do they? Today's Christmas Eve, dude. Home. I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. You're suspicious. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thank you. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But... I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To... be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> what tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Are you hitting on me? Irving? Are you hitting on me, by any chance? Uh... No, <laughs> what are you? I mean, it's just. I... Relax. I was kidding. Calm down, dude. I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Okay, you're starting to flirt a bit. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night, too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Uh, hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. A year later. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. 
Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Wait there. I definitely heard something. Uh, okay. I, I wanted to tell you something. Oh, God. Not now. I heard a sound. Something familiar. Listen, I've had this in my head for a while. I, I don't know. I, I seem to sense a sort of chemistry. I'm sorry, what? Are you trying to tell me something, Irving? Something embarrassing, maybe? I can understand that you can't stand the side of the Timberline. Not even on a postcard, but... But for me, this is important. It's given me the chance You've to You've been meet. a lot of help, and I'm happy you're here. I didn't right choose now, anything. I figure this out. Sorry. But, but somehow, it would be nice if, after this whole thing, we could meet in person, have a drink. I mean, if I'm going too fast, just say no, so probably... Irving. I know it's ridiculous to ask out someone you've never even seen, but uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh, a sec. Okay, okay, maybe I crossed the line. Sorry, I'm a klutz sometimes and- Irving, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but now just give me time to figure out where the sound is coming from. I'll call you back. I, sure, sorry. Kitchen? That's the chandelier, no? Hold on. Oh, please walk faster, honey. It's the chandelier. Oh, okay, I'm gonna... You hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was uh, busy. Interesting. Oh, uh, no problem. Suspicious. Fine. What'd you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. Could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. I just had breathing in my ear, dude. Can we talk about that? Seriously, there is a dude breathing in my ear. on a oh, wind chimes
That's rats. The heck is that? That's a crowd of people. A link with outside. I've just walked all the way around and I bet you it's those frickin' chandeliers. It is. <laughs> Nikki? I remembered. What? The sound I keep hearing. Did you figure out where it's coming from? Yes, I mean, no, maybe. But I remember why it sounds familiar. The chandeliers. What chandeliers? The ones in the ballroom. Nicole, I, I don't follow. I'm probably stung from before. But... I'd be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. We'll get back to it. Mm. I'm... I'm listening. When I was little, I could sit for hours and watch them set up the parties in the ballroom. Uh-huh. To me, those chandeliers were like a flying merry-go-round. What does all this have to do with the sound you heard? Every time the window behind the bar was opened, the decorations would clink. That's the sound I heard. Those old chandeliers moving in the breeze. The chandeliers in the ballroom were taken down two or three years ago. I'm not crazy. But what you're saying is impossible. I'm sure. And no, I don't understand, but whatever made that sound is around here somewhere. You're worrying me. I just need to think and listen. Okay. Uh, keep me posted. Please. Tequila. So she's obviously had a traumatic experience and that's why she can't remember much. What was in here? Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy. 
to freak out when you're on your own up there. <laughs> Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Say music! You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore, it's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Interesting that he went quiet when it was talking about the past coming back.